Oh yeah. Okay. Hello, my name is Embry Williams. I'm from Embry's International School of Performing Arts. Today, we're here with Brian McNeil, musician and artist extraordinaire. Uh, Brian, um, so this is your first exhibition in Japan? First exhibition in Japan. Uh, first basic solo exhibition. I'm going to work in the show. And I see you have uh, some metal work with those paintings. Yeah, this, this, this particular work was done in New York City. New York City. The paintings, you know, all different meanings. So how many uh, works of art do you have here today? Today I am displaying about 310 pieces. Oh, okay. So do you want to walk us through and, and explain a little bit? Sure, sure. This, this, this period right here is uh, basically 1999 through 2004, basically. Uh, there's an intermixture here. Some of this was done in Tokyo. Okay, so you can see this is dated 2002. Okay. You know, these are pieces that, uh, that uh, made it out of New York. 2000. This is 2007. New, this, you know, new pieces, 2000. So it's an intermixture of both. Okay, so you have some work from last year. Well. Yes. Yeah. And you have, I see several mediums you're using. Yeah. This is uh, uh, basically mixed media. There's anything under the sun in these pieces. Uh, from rice to mud to basically any texture that I could find that made come to life. I like to use a lot of natural fibers. Okay. And you have some pieces that are yours on display as well? Yeah, yeah. Actually, this is a one piece. Everything else is mine, but this 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 place is a collaboration. This is a, a dear friend of mine out of New York City that I always represent for. His name is James Del Vega. Del Vega is uh, one of the most wonderful artists that ever came out of New York. The bar level. James Delavega. My home. <laughs> and I see you have the box frame series over here. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is this actually. <laughs> this, this particular series is was done in Tokyo. Uh, this is all new one. Oh, okay. It's box frame series. I mean, uh, in Tokyo. Okay. This is this one. Here. Oh, this is uh, this is me with the Rolling Stones. I work with the Rolling Stones. Uh, I'm a, like uh, Mr. Embry uh, mentioned. I am a musician in my band. Hey, yeah. the opening act for the Rolling Stones, their last tour, Bigger Bang tour. We've done some dates with them, and I'm a solo artist. So be on the lookout for that record, probably on EMI this uh, summer, spring and summer. Yeah, these, these are these are these are basically um, um, my attempts at being able to do murals in Tokyo. As you know, Tokyo doesn't have a lot of accessible space to do large pieces of it. So I just uh, chose to do large pieces of canvas and large pieces of paper to create murals um, as best as I possible. I see. And who would be your influence? Oh man, everybody from Under the Sun. I'm, I'm influenced by classical artists. I'm influenced a lot by Gene Michael Basquiat. Uh, when I was younger, uh, I had the privilege of meeting him in the village. And, uh, you know, I was hooked after that. And so I think uh, at this point, I'm finally uh, starting to see my own artistic statement, you know, uh, uh, where my style is at. Side here. Yeah, the pieces that are about to come down. Yeah. These these pieces uh, that are about to come down are um, oversized on paper, oversized paper, and uh, they were just uh, improvisational works turned to music. Ah, okay. And let's go this way and come around this way. Okay, and um, obviously this is. Probably not your work. Yeah, this, these are these are um, um, artists 
that, uh, that we basically have a collective that we work with. And these are that we help show their works to, and they uh, get a chance to have their work out for people to see. And it goes around here. This is one artist, this is another artist. And we also have an uh, artist from uh, Mr. Embry's Academy, the children. So this is the, a display of uh, all the children's work from Embry's Academy. And this is their wonderful flyer. This is our interviewer, and this is a um, work from his school. Which is, you know, your school, so. Right. You know, so, so thank you very much. Uh, no problem. Our, our school is a uh, performing arts school, mm -hmm. and uh, we do uh, tap into the visual arts as well. Yeah. And you can see here, um, this is quite interesting. And a six year old did this. Mm -hmm. and this is his interpretation of uh, uh, one of his cartoon characters. And uh, you said you had a favorite one? Yeah, I actually have two. This one is one of my favorites right here. I love this piece. That was done by a uh, six-year-old. Six-year-old. I love that one. And I love this one. That was done by a five-year-old. Five-year-old, wow. Yeah. And, uh, and this one, actually, I like a lot. I think that's done by one of your instructors, Nick. Yeah? yeah? So that, that, and that one. Okay, that was done by one of our teachers. Okay. And, oh, where's mine? I got a couple here. <laughs> That's you? Yeah, I did that one. Oh, what's no. yeah. up? I didn't know. It's called Where, Where Are We? Oh, uh, where? Everybody's out there, it, huh? And this one over here, this is a little Chinese influence. Ah. <laughs> ah, it's a watercolor. Watercolor. Water 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 water. water. <laughs>